So, welcome everyone. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, happy Kwanzaa, so on and so forth. Um, it is the season, it would seem, to be assimilated. What am I talking about? Well, the Hero Collector Org Advent Calendar was released earlier this year by Eagle Moss. Um, very, very excited. I managed to get my hands on one. And here it is. It's a huge, massive thing uh, full of lots and lots and lots of Advent goodies we are hoping. Um, so, it's, it's a beautifully presented Borg Cube with lots and lots of printed detail on the outside. Now, it's a bit shiny at the moment because it still has the wrapping on it. Um, but you can see on the front, you can just about make out there are various drawers inside. Inside each of these drawers is a day's treat. And this being December the 1st, today is the first day of said treats. Um, now, it does tell you underneath uh, what is inside. I haven't paid too much attention to that because I like to be surprised. Um, but you can see it says Star Trek Collector's Advent Calendar on the front and on the back. Again, just some sort of general info on the obligatory barcode. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in what's inside this puppet. Are we not? So I'm very, very excited. I'm going to remove the wrapping the plastic wrapping here live on air. Oh, sorry for the camera shake there. It says I've got my, my trusty knife out. Um, here we go. See if I can do this without damaging anything. Uh, just want to get it started so that I can tear the plastic off. Here we go. Um, Everyone is keeping well. Has anyone else watching got one of these? Uh, do drop a note in the comments. Uh, let me know. That's the wrapping off. Next thing is the bit of car. But I do keep hold of these. I'm, I'm a stickler for keeping hold of things like that as part of the collection. Um, but yes, you can get a better view now of all the detail on the outside of the box. Now I'm keeping it this way up so I know which way up it is. That's the bottom of it right there. Um, and the it should come in handy for storing things afterwards I'm hoping. And uh, before I get into the box itself, uh, some of you may have, have noticed I look perhaps a little bit different to how I did last when I last streamed. Um, I have removed all my hair, all my eyebrows my beard and Tash, uh, because it is that season when I get to play the most amazing seasonal character. Um, all I can say, seasonal character, you know who I mean, ho ho ho. Uh, and of course I have to, because I have very dark hair, to remove all these things so I can then put lighter coloured ones on and uh, my dark hair won't show on again. So if you're wondering why I look a little different right? that's why. So, shall we ready? Let's pull out. Oh my goodness, these are very tight in. But that's fine. That's number four. I don't want that one. Let's go to the other end. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if there's a particular way you're supposed to. No. Hang on, 16, 20, 20. No, that's not right. <laughs> How's this work? So I'm wondering actually if, ah, if it was day four. Yeah, okay. So that's number four, right. One was not said number six. I'll have to do it this way around so you can see. Um, so you see it's a six there. And eight. And nine and twelve, and so that leaves us with one, one last option. It is counterintuitively the third one in. Okay, I may forget where the others are um, at this rate, but hopefully 
that's number 18. Okay, that's weird. So, oh right, oh it's, right, so, they don't, no, don't make this very clear, but underneath 18 there are a lot of other numbers. Uh, I'll hold that so you can see, uh, hopefully they won't fall out. So, let's get that back. Let's get number four out. So I was right the first time. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get this one back. It's very, very snug and tight in here. Um, that's fine. So I'm going to pop this down on the floor just to make it easier to fix back in. There we go. Let's try this again with number four, weirdly. Um, number four, hopefully, underneath. There's, look, there's number one. One, three, five, seven, and ten. <laughs> Not making this very easy, are they? Well, um, do you know what? Maybe that's the other. Maybe that is number four itself. I don't know where number two would be then. We will find out. But number one, here we are. So I've taken number one out of the package. There it was in the middle. Um, so I'm going to put that to one side because here we have number one. Will Riker himself. Number one. Open up the package. What have we got? Something wrapped in... Oh, it's... Uh, now it's kind of... It's that crinkly sort of paper. I'll put the box to one side. Um, it's that crinkly sort of paper. Um, but it is... I don't know how well you can see this on camera. But it is a Borg camera design. And there is even a number one on the paper itself. So there we go. So let us unwrap. What have we got today? I'll put the paper to one side. We have a set of Star Trek playing cards. Now, I'm not going to open these here on air. Uh, they're covered in cellophane. Um, but playing cards, very, very nice. Full pack of playing cards. Uh, and there is a card inside as well. I can't read that with my, uh, with my glasses, so... I'm going to change to my readers. Bear with me and let us see what it says. The game of Fizbin, as seen on the episode A Piece of the Action, was said by Kirk to have originated on Beta Antares 4 and was a real game requiring intelligence. It can be played with an ordinary pack of cards on which our set here is based. Right. Have fun, whether you are playing at night or on a Tuesday. Um, maybe that's related to the episode, but a piece of the action. Uh, the game Fizbin originated on Beta and Taurus 4. Uh, so there you go. There's the card. I'll hold it up to the camera. Uh, no, that's a bit blurry. Uh, maybe I can't do this. That would have been a bit blurry, but there it is anyway. Uh, with pack of cards, that's day number one of the Borg Advent Calendar. Um, join me tomorrow when I battle to see where I can find number two in the list. Um, will I be able to find it? I have no idea, um, but we will find it. And I need to put all this away, uh, so I'll do that off air. But yes, uh, join me tomorrow for that, and join me as well later on this evening from 9 pm. Uh, we have our fortnightly Star Trek Adventures Modifius role playing game, jammed by me uh, with the crew of the USS Livingston. And oh my goodness, they've just had some uh, breaking news, shall we say. Uh, things have not been quite what they expected and uh, a lot of things have been revealed and now they are being sent off on their first mission by their new, shall we say, collaborators. Um, very, very interesting. You won't want to miss that. 
that is tonight at seven uh, no Decimus at seven. Oh god it's all going horribly wrong. Um that is tonight at nine PM. Here's Ed. Great to see you, Ed. Ed is of course the new captain of the USS Livingston and all its new toys. Mm-hmm. You can't wait, Ed. I can't wait. It's going to be very, very exciting. In the meantime, I have my cards. Um, yeah. Okay, on <laughs> that bombshell, uh, I need to get ready for tonight's game. So, in the meantime, take care, everyone. Bye for now.